Hi, welcome back to H&H &H TV. I'm Trey Smith, and this month at H&H &H is Wiring Month. Uh, we're going to talk about the different types of wiring that we sell and differences, benefits, pros, cons uh, here this month. Everything we do here at H&H &H Wiring Wise is made by American Auto Wire. It is American made. It's made in New Jersey. Uh, these guys do a great job of offering multiple different types of harnesses to fit just about any application you might have. The three particular harnesses that we stock and keep, number one is what they call their factory fit line. And yes, this may just look like a giant pile of wiring. What this is, this is the under dash harness out of a 65 Impala. And the factory fit is exactly what it sounds like. It is a factory fit. It is made exactly like it was in 1965 or 1955 or whatever you happen to be working on. Uh, it's still got the glass term, the glass fuses. It's got all the factory connections. Everything is done for you. This is a plug and play system. It's made exactly like it was the day GM built that car. The next type of harness we offer is what's called the Highway Series. The Highway Series is a universal harness. It is not a direct fit in any way, shape, or form. It is a harness that you have to engineer as you go along. Uh, the, the fuse panel is, uh, again, an ATO style panel. Uh, all of the connections are marked for you, tells you what everything is. The directions are very self-explanatory. You can take this harness, get the fuse panel, get an ignition switch in it, get a power source, and you can just about fire that vehicle up without any of the wiring even being connected. Everything is labeled on each wire. It tells you exactly what it does, whether it's battery, left turn signal, right turn signal, headlight connection, you name it, it says it. Uh, but again, keep in mind, this style of harness is universal. You are going to have to make it fit. You are going to have to keep some of your original factory connections for park lights, tail lights, headlights, dash connections, and engineer those into it. Uh, if you're building a street rod or an extreme, uh, you know, street machine type vehicle, this is probably the best harness for you right here, something that you really have to engineer and are really good at something like that. The next and last harness that we sell is what they call their classic update series. Now this harness is vehicle specific. This particular one is for 55 to 56 Chevrolet full size car. It is made for that car. It has all the factory headlight, park light, tail light, even the dash connections. Options are there for air conditioning system, upgraded wipers, power seats, power windows, uh, air ride circuits, you name it, it's built into it. It'll accept a three wire SI series alternator or a one wire alternator. Uh, you can use points of condenser with it, you can use HEI, it's got provisions for other ignitions, MSD, so on and so forth. Uh, some of the connections are done for you, some of the connections you're going to have to do. Just like the highway series, this harness, you need to have a knowledge of, of, of automotive wiring, how it functions, how it works, as well as the ability, ability to solder wire. If you don't have those two things, probably these two harnesses are not the harness for you. You want to go with something like this. The factory fit harness does have the ability to have some options done to it for uh, internal regulated alternator, HEI, those we have harnesses that are built, built for that. Uh, again, these two, you're going to have to do some of the engineering. Price-wise, this is going to be your most expensive. This car, depending on vehicle, this harness is going to run you anywhere from $600 to $1,200 to do bumper to bumper, depending on what you're working on. But again, remember, they've done all the work for you. All you got to do is just put it in the car and plug it in. This harness is going to be your least expensive, but again, you're going to have to do more of the work. This one's more middle of the road cost-wise, but again, they've done some of the work for you. So remember that, the more work, they've done, the more expensive that harness is going to get. Harnesses are hand-built items. There's no machine to do that other than your crimping and so forth. That's about the extent of it. The rest of it's all done by human hands. So most expensive, least expensive, middle of the road. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of the Classic Update Series harnesses because, again, they're vehicle specific. They're made for that car. We've got them for just about every line that we carry from uh, all your Tri-5s, all your trucks, about the only Impalas we don't have is 58 and then 69 and 70. Uh, all the Chevelles, all the Novas are covered and our new product line that's coming will have this as well. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you're interested in one of these harnesses, please don't hesitate to call the number listed on the screen below or check out our website at www.hhclassic.com. Go to the wiring section and it'll, it'll give you some more specific details. 
Again, my name is Trey Smith, and we thank you for tuning in to H&H &H TV.